Hey folks, um, what I want to do today is I want to give you a quick tour on the operation and maintenance of a uh, floor scrubber. It's a Tenant T3. Um, just to give you an idea of the layout. Back is a squeegee, which uh, scrub uh, picks the water up off the floor, which is delivered by the scrubber in the front. I'll get better pictures later. Right now, this one is sitting uh, in, for overnight uh, parking. Uh, there's two hoses on the back. There's a clear vinyl one and a black plastic, uh, it's like a vacuum cleaner. It, but that one's flexible and that drains the the dirty water tank and the the clear one drains the clean water tank the clean water tank is in the bottom in that top section that's tilted up the blue uh, that is the uh, dirty water tank and on top of it you see the cover for the dirty water tank which has a seal around it so that the vacuum cleaner um, sucks the water off the floor through that gray hose down to the squeegee. Uh, power switch is in the back, it's kind of jury rigged uh, switch. Uh, there's a circuit breaker there and also there's a black switch that runs a chemical delivery system on the cart that we never use. Notice that is uh, on the zero should always stay on the zero or it won't uh, deliver water to the floor and you'll be scrubbing your floor with no water and you'll be scratching your head while the floor doesn't get clean. So always leave that on zero, leave it alone. Uh, there's a red cord here, a black cord with a red tip on it. I'll take this out first. You can see what direction it goes in. See there's a notch in the top, it faces upward it's into that slot down there that's for the battery charger the cord comes from the battery charger which is over there it's got two lights on it one is a red one and the other one is a green one uh, the red one will go off when you plug it in when it's flashing the green light is flashing slowly it means to doing full charge when it flashes quickly it's doing a top off charge when it's on steady, that means it's fully charged. Uh, there's no need to unplug it, really. Uh, there's no race because it uh, controls the amount of charge. When it's on steady charge, green light's on steady, and it just uh, puts a maintenance uh, charge into the batteries. There's two of them. Uh, whenever you're charging, you can always leave this up. There's a little leg on here that uh, allows air in here. There's the batteries. And then there's the leg. It's hard to do it by myself. The batteries are, they're two 12 volt deep cycle batteries, like uh, uh, almost like automotive size, but they're deep cycle batteries. They're made specifically for uh, use with electric motors. Kind of like a trolling motor on, a, uh, on your fishing boat. So the first thing you do, and you put the drain back up here. And this is hard to do with um, with uh, one hand, but that cap's got to go back on there, and it turns a little bit. And there's uh, two. Uh, there's a, a the rubber ring on there, and I'm just going to put the phone down for a second while we do this. Slightly. I know you can't see this, but that's what you do. I got water on my phone. And now when it's parked, you'll see that the hose is hanging from that screw there. The cap is on, and the hose just this is in a U shape. Let me get some more water off this phone. Or 
pardon me. Bones aren't happy when they're wet. Alright, okay. Sorry for the jiggling. Uh, okay, okay, so now it's ready to be brought out and filled. Oh, put the flower switch on. And this machine is controlled. Uh, there's a state of charge here, so it should be all the way up to full green. This is the speed. And um, normal driving speed, and I don't know why this thing has decided it doesn't want to focus. There, that's better have a little water on the lens. Um, slow walking speed is about like this. This is slow. And then this is the fast walking speed. You don't want to go any faster than that while you're cleaning. If you're just unloaded and you're trying to get somewhere with it, so you can start working, you can put it up to full blast. And it's a fast walking speed. Um, safe walking speed. Going backwards, you tilt this lever away. To make it go forward, you go like this, push it towards you. Um, and you steer it. The gimbals are in the middle. Power wheels are in the center. So it kind of pivots on its middle. It isn't like a shopping cart. It it's in the middle. Now we take it out here. While we're riding, you can see a little round cup at the top. That's for picking up debris off the floor while you're cleaning. You can just take your dead bugs and lint and things that you find on the floor when you're cleaning pick them off the floor and set them in there um <clears throat> so here's the filler hole before we fill it i think i want to run you through how to clean it so when you're working on it turn it off and this top i don't know why we're so magnified here um yeah, it's on magnification. This goes down like this. See if I can help this magnification. There we go. Went back to normal. Now down in here is the water reservoir. You can see it's a little dirty, but not too bad. <coughs> this comes off. There's a ball in here. So that if this overfills, that ball comes up and floats and shuts this off to prevent water from being sucked into the into the uh, vacuum cleaner motor and that's the dirt that needs to be cleaned out of it <clears throat> this gets done once a week and the entire area in here tends to get full of garbage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, turn the video off and uh, i think i'll let it just edit it so i'm going to quick wash it i need to put this down i really can't do this with with a phone in my hand. So I'm gonna clean this and what I'm gonna use is the hose attached to the sink, which extends far enough to reach the scrubber. And then there's the brush I use. And uh, it doesn't hurt to use, now where is it now? There's usually some, uh, it's kind of a called a tile cleaner. It's uh, got a little bit of uh, delimer in it to get some of that hard stuff out of there. But I can't find it today, so I'm just going to do it with water. But if the delimer is there, it's really good to spray that first to kind of get some of that crusty stuff up a little easier. So I'm going to shut this off. No, I'm going to let it out, and then I'll edit it later. Okay, I'll probably edit that out. So I'll put some water in here, and you can see quite a bit of stuff floating around here. Well, that's because a lot of times dirt collects underneath here, this lip. And it's a good idea to take your hose and hold it up and squirt underneath there, because a lot of stuff comes out of there. This relatively just rinses right off, so it's ready to get this put back on. And you put this back up. And we're going to go back to the other room with the scrubber and drain it. Oops, we'll put the switch on. 
Wait a minute. I'm, we're going to save some time. There's another step to this. This is an important step. So let's just get it over with. And then I think I'm going to conclude this video. The rest of it's just routine. What I'm going to do after I'm done cleaning this brush here is uh, replace replace the abrasive. Um, and I think I might just do that in a separate video. I think I'm going to do their scrubber and the squeegee and the, and the abrasive in a separate video.